It is a tragic end for the search of human rights defender Caroline Mwatha after her body was found at City Mortuary this afternoon. Mwata, a mother of two, went missing about a week ago, and Caroline was a founder member and caseworker with Dandora Community Social Justice Center that has been documenting, lobbying, and calling for police professionalism. Also, public accountability and an end to the extrajudicial killings. Now, the cause of her death is now a mystery. Our crimes and investigations reporter, Francis Ntoma, is at the city mortuary right now and joins us live. Francis, good evening. Good evening, Ben. And yes, indeed, we are broadcasting live here from the city mortuary. And uh, the family of the, the late Caroline Mother has positively identified uh, the body uh, that is a couple of minutes ago. And yet it's been, it has been all through grief has hit this particular place. It is one of those hardest uh, stories, I can tell you, even for a reporter to report about uh, because of the emotions that have been painted here at the city mortuary. A couple of minutes ago, we've seen the mother collapse here. And actually, as we speak, uh, medics are trying to resuscitate uh, her here at the city mortuary just to, to show you the kind of a uh, situation that we are dealing with here and uh, just, just just to give you now the formal uh, uh, notification that we got here from the city mortuary is that indeed uh, the body of the late Caroline Mwatha Ocheng was recorded here at the city morgue uh, city mortuary that was on the 7th of February at around 4 42 a.m. that is the official record that we've gotten here from uh, the, this particular morgue we've had human rights uh, organizations giving all sorts of reactions regarding this particular matter and it has been uh, they, 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 are, they are citing a lot of inconsistencies really in this particular matter and uh, right now as we are speaking with there is still some sort of a vigil outside here the city mortuary of course trying to ensure that they talk to the family members they try and console them in this uh, at this particular difficult moment and to try and also look for the way forward tomorrow we've been hinted that there will be another uh, particular vigil that will be here in the morning here just here at the city mortuary and thereafter we expect that there will be other plans for an autopsy to be conducted, an autopsy that uh, human rights activists insist that all independent players must be uh, must all converge here to ensure that this process is taken through a credible and a credible process. I'll, I, I want to capture a few thoughts or rather reactions here from uh, some of the human rights defenders who are converged here just to listen to what they have to say about this situation. Uh, Winnie Obure is an activist here from uh, Kiambio. Tell us, you have uh, had a long journey really trying to, find, to, to trace one of your own. You've uh, finally had a, had, a, had a tragic end here at the city mortuary. Yes, it's very tragic that um, our fellow human rights defender, Karan Martha, is here at the city mortuary. So we found out that today. Um, before that, she went missing last week, and we've had different teams trying to search for her everywhere. And we even had a team that came uh, at this particular morgue to just be able to search and find out if um, she could be here. But surprisingly, we never found her name here. We never found her here. Just to be told that she was checked in here on 7th, which doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense. And the kind of narrative we are, we are getting out there is just a lie. It, it can't be. Mm. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Sorry, we wish you well. Let me also capture another activist here who has come all the way from Mombasa. That is Halid Hussein. This is a known face in the human rights field. You've come all the way to this particular place. And I, yes, again, it is that tragic end that we are, we are witnessing this moment. Indeed, it's very sad, uh, Ontomwa, because um, Caroline was known to many. Um, she was a founder. Um, she was a comrade documenting extrajudicial killings in Dandora. And as my colleague has said, the information that is coming out from these institutions, from the morgue, from the police stations, uh, is very worrying. You know, we have two reports of two carols with the same OB number on different dates, both of them uh, brought in by their husbands. You know, and, uh, you know, it's really confusing. Uh, but yes, uh, tomorrow we are waiting for the independent autopsy, which uh, as organizations will be present in, to get to know exactly what caused the death of our comrade. Uh, Halid, when events of this ilk happen, what does this speak of the human rights space here in Kenya? I think it's clear and uh, it's open for everyone to, to see that uh, presently there is that shrinking civil space. Um, as uh, human rights defenders, we are continuously uh, under threats 
under threats not just from state institutions but also non-state institutions. Uh, we continue to operate in very difficult times and uh, you know for us uh, you know we've held this vigil for several several days but uh, it's a luta continua and we intend to continue uh, in the cause that our comrade has lost her life of. Thank you, Halid. Thank you, Halid Hussein, the uh, human rights activist, all the way from Mombasa, and earlier on I've spoken to Winnie Obure, also based here in Nairobi. And the kind of feeling that you're getting from the, the two activists and many others that we've spoken to, Ben, is the fact that they are saying that there could be a connection of really what the, 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 the disappearance and the death, and now we are speaking about the kind of work that she was doing at Dandora. Uh, we, uh, perhaps to give you a bit of a profile of, uh, we, uh, of uh, Caroline uh, Mwada, is that she was a human rights defender based in Andorra, and she was very, very uh, passionate about talking about extrajudicial killings that have been happening in that part of uh, the city. And uh, that is now the connection that uh, many wants to draw the door, the lines and say that perhaps this could be one of those reasons why she has perished. But then, of course, we are waiting for formal uh, investigations to be conducted. There is a bit of hope here that uh, there will be light at the end of the tunnel indeed to understand and to get to know the real killers of uh, the activist, Ben. Thank you, Francis. Francis on Tomo, our crimes and investigations reporter are live at the city mortuary, uh, somber mood indeed. Yeah, let's now listen in to Caroline Mwada's father speaking earlier today. Caroline, I just want to tell you something. Caroline, I'm going to be able to help you. I'm going to be able to help you. I'm going to be able to help you. Now, I'm going to be able to help you. 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 I'm going to be able to Sababu ya kufuatilia ukweli na January wakati ulianza mwaka Karo atulitoka chini akatuambia mimi nikiwa na mama yake akatuambia mam na, na bab na dad ile kazi nafanya ni sensitive msiyeambia mtu nafanya kazi gani tukamuliza sensitive aje akatuambia hii kazi iko na vitina mingi sana na iko mambo mengi sana watu wakijua ile kazi nafanya naweza kuchukuliwa wakati wote Sasa hii hiyo kutokana hiyo statement yake ya wakati huo ndio imefanya Karo, karo akapoteza maisha yake. Naomba serikali. Serikali. Tuko na rais mzuri sana. Tuko na tuko na Uhuru, tuko na Raila ambao ni watu wanafuata ukweli, tuko na Matiang, watu ambao watatu najua kabisa wanaweza nyorosha hii Kenya. Naomba wa, waendelee kufuatilia integrity siku yote wanyorosha Kenya wahakikishe integrity inatumika kila wakati ukweli unatumika kila wakati sababu Kenya hatuwezi kuendelea mbele kama mtu akizimama afuatilia ukweli anauliwa tutaenda wapi Kenya haiwezi hatuwezi kuendelea hatuwezi kuendelea namna hiyo kama mtu akisema ukweli anauliwa sababu ana watetezi hiyo ni nimekataa na yule ameua karo yule ameua karo yake ingo jikoni one day one time ataenda kama yeye hiyo ndio kitu najua sasa hii Hapa hata wamekuku wamekuku me, ni eh, registration ya karo hapa anaandikwa karo mbeki bila kuandikwa karo mwaba anaandikwa karo mbeki hapa ameletwa na, na mwanamke pale tu ni eh, police boss Kenyatta tunasikia aletwa na mwanaume na nawe mwanaume anasema ni bwana ya karo bwana ya karo alikuwa ni dubai wakati huo alikuwa bwana yake siku gani na karo aliolewa na harusi sio mtu wa kutokotwa mtaani karo aliolewa kwa kanisa 